Hadrian might have been here 2,000 years ago, but we've got some really important history in this area from quite a bit longer ago than that. We've just come from Steel Rig Car Park and we've come up uh, at the top of Peel Crags um, and we're looking down onto the once brewed visitor centre. This landscape's a good place to, to look and think about how peat forms and what peat is. We can see this brown area. This is a peatland habitat, a mire or a bog. You have dips that hold water and uh, wet loving plants like that and they start building up and so you get layers and layers of partially decomposed plant material and that's basically what peat is. We think that peat forms at about a metre every thousand years so they can be round about 12 metres deep. It acts like a big sponge and so they help to control how much water runs off and down into our rivers. What's really shaped this landscape uh, is the action of ice or glaciers that we had over a period from about 2 million years ago to about 12,000 years ago. But glaciers scoured out some of the softer rock uh, and in those hollows that's where we got the Roman wall lofts like Crag Loft behind me and Greenlee Loft and Broomley Loft forming. Uh, we're only really near like Hadrian's Wall but it's really quiet here so it's quite surprising. The border is really good because it's like quite high above everything else. You can see quite far around you. Instead of you walking on like the grass, you're walking on the like <laughs> upon the pass really. And this is cranberry, and it's related to the cranberries that uh, make the juice out of. But we've got some right here on our bogs in Northumberland. What's that yellow thing? That's marsh marigold. What's that? hare's tail cotton grass because it just has one flower head on the end of it and it looks like a hare's tail. This is sphagnum or bog moss. There's a variety of habitats here. We're back onto a sort of true peaty mire but it does grade into reed bed and fen, a little mosaic of different peaty habitats next to the loft. They're also good for animals and birds as well, including otters that live in the loft. Feel more involved, kind of. I thought it was surprising because I didn't think it would smell like this or be like this. <laughs> Bellcrag Flow is one of the border mires which are found in and around the forest and they've been designated as a special area of conservation. You know, it's really exciting that we've got these here on our doorstep. The, the peat holds lots of carbon in it and if we look after the surface of the bogs it means that it's not being released out into the atmosphere. So this mire has been affected and damaged um, because of uh, peat extraction and um, people still buy peat in this country um, to put on their gardens. One of the things that we've been doing in the National Park to try and keep bogs healthy uh, is obviously blocking the drainage ditches to try and keep water on them but also removing trees where they were planted on the margins of the bog. We've got a boardwalk here on Bellcrag Flow so you can get and look up at some of these plants really close too without getting your feet too wet. This is a senju. They'll catch little midges and things like that and then they'll digest them. Really pretty and delicate. It was worth coming out. We need to preserve these sort of things and I mean, they're part of the past. It's a real example of thinking globally about conservation but acting locally and looking after what's special in our area. Mm -hmm.